weekend. Absolutely awesome. Other than being attacked. Uh, yeah, I got attacked by my biggest fan. So, quite a painful experience actually. Um, basically, it was yesterday. I ended up uh, having to go to sleep for a bit actually. Uh, well, I wasn't really supposed to go to sleep, but I did. <laughs> Uh, and that was because I'd taken quite a blow to the head. Uh, I'll put some footage in. Um, but basically, it's, it's back here behind my ear. But uh, what happened was uh, I was up some step ladders in the bedroom, uh, putting up a curtain pole. So. Uh, there it was. Well, actually, I think I've got to the point of putting the curtains on it. I think I can't remember. But either way, I've got this. I've been putting curtain poles up in the finished decorated bedroom, which the wife's not happy with the yellowish colour, so that's getting painted over. So it's come out like a mustard, and she's not that happy with it. I think it's so. Anyway, so that's getting painted again. That one wall, but. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, uh, I finished doing the bit I was doing and started to back down the ladders and how it got up in the first place, I don't know, I suppose it's because when you go up ladders you tend to lean forward a little bit and as you come down you lean your head backwards slightly and uh, the, um, the ceiling fan was on. Uh, which, yeah, you can hear it, and you know when it's on, but you know what it's like when you've had something for so many years, you automatically tune it out and get used to the noise and what have you. But I backed into it uh, and took a blade to the head. It was at full speed as well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, oh yes, there was blood. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was rather painful. Um, the cut itself isn't that big, but, uh, yeah, and I've, uh, I, obviously it's, I've rubbed the scab a bit and carried on bleeding through the night because uh, there were some red spots all over my pillow when I got up this morning as well. So, uh, yeah, it was rather painful. I took a few uh, painkillers and what have you, and I had to lay down. I mean, I, it, it, it hit me. Um, I sort of did a like a, a controlled stumble the rest of the way down the steps, and then a, a, a sort of semi-controlled collapse in a heap down the side of my bed, hugging the side of my head, uh, feeling the warmth, the blood running, and uh, an extremely hot ear because it clobbered my ear as well. Uh, how he didn't cut the top off my ear, I don't know. But uh, yeah, my ear was very red and it's still very sore now, everything's still very tender back there. Uh, rather painful. So, uh, I didn't watch any YouTube last night because it was too painful to put uh, earphones on. <laughs> so, uh, and of course I always have to use earphones because the wife's got the TV or something on, so. So yeah, I'm in a bit of uh, pain, basically. But uh, other than that, it's been quite a nice weekend. Other than I was also supposed to be getting my grass cut, but um, my son had borrowed my lawnmower and didn't bring it back. Oh, I'll bring it back in the morning. And that was the next day after he was supposed to bring it back. He was supposed to be bringing it back uh, much sooner than that, so I still haven't got it back. So I have warned him and warned him and warned him, and he's now going to get told that he borrows nothing until he learns to bring things back he's always borrowing my tools and not bringing them back and I end up having to go and get them myself. It's not a big trip but you know people have to learn don't they? People do have to learn. You know you don't borrow something and then not take it back. Especially when it was me that dropped it off in the first place. Seems I was going that way. But anyway so I've been into town this morning. I've actually just been to Middleton and dropped my grandkids off because we've had them for the weekend. So we've had them two nights. We had them Friday night and last night. 
Um, just, there's just still so much going on in that house. It's, uh, it, it's just so much going on and I can't do the things I want to do. I can't, you know, it's just so frustrating at the minute. Um, but, you know, I'll get through. Although next weekend, got some of the wife's family coming again and then the weekend after that we'll have the grandkids again so you know my weekends are just blurring into nothingness really at the minute um, you know not that I mind having them it's just you know fitting your own stuff in isn't it that uh, becomes the the awkward part I suppose but uh, should be able to get rid of the sun soon uh, Therefore, that'll make the evenings a bit better and I'll be able to do like videos on an evening and what have you. So, um, but yeah, I've been into town earlier. I've already got like uh, the bits and pieces. I got some meat off the butcher yesterday, although I do actually have a piece of pork at home that I was sort of going to do for today and then we decided to have beef today. So I've got a piece of beef off the butcher yesterday. Uh, picked up all my veg and that today. Some other bits and pieces. I think the wife wants another cheesecake making. So I'm going to be busy now uh, for a little while. Um, oh, and I've been and picked up a sack of taters as well, but I got some new taters for the tea. And I picked up a sack of potatoes as well, so I've been down to the farm as well. It's not that far out of the village actually, and picked up a sack for a fiver. That uh, keeps us in baked potatoes for a while anyway, and chips. So, uh, but yeah, I've got this piece of pork that uh, actually my wife won it on, wife? No, my mum won it on uh, the pig bingo and decided that she didn't want it and they wouldn't eat it all. And it's, it's a strange cut actually, I've not seen it like that before very often. It's, um, it's, it's like a gammon, um, it's like being cut from the very top of the leg and it's about, about two, two and a half inch, inches thick. Now if I it's got the bone in it still. Now, if I if I cook that uh, as you would a gammon, and then try and slice it without a mandolin or anything like that, it's going to be pretty darned awkward, and it's going to be awkward to cut anyway. So I thought what I'm going to do with that one day is we will we'll slow cook it to death uh, and uh, pull it basically and have it with some barbecue sauce and stuff like that so I thought you know that's what we'd do anyway anyway I'm gonna go in guys and I'll catch up in a bit yeah so tea was most enjoyable and oh, shouldn't touch that I'll try and scratch it there but um, <clears throat> yeah I was just taking some pictures before I'll put them in here um, how everything's just coming to bloom so quickly um, noisy noisy neighbors but uh, yeah, you've got the sounds of the summer and everything all going at the minute, but um, yeah, everything's sort of coming to bloom so quickly, especially the cherry blossoms. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had the tulips and that around for a bit, but the cherry blossoms, they're amazing. Um, weekend um, although it was forecast to be a good weekend as well I don't know if you lot have had a massive influx of uh, flies house flies we have here um, and other people have been saying the same so it's not just us <laughs> but yeah it's um, oh, I've been smacking I've got one of those little uh, electric zappers so I've been chasing flies around the room with that and bloody noisy wood pigeon it's normally in our tree here actually, uh, used to nest in there every year, but uh, yeah, it's uh, 
everything's starting to really come into bloom it's nice uh, it looks like summer might be finally here guys which uh, is a good thing I mean I've certainly seen people wearing a lot of uh, shorts today which uh, you know you weren't seeing so many of them it was mainly just t-shirts and jeans but now you're seeing the shorts as well and the town was full of people in shorts today what's she doing Daisy Daisy Never mind trying to stick your nose down that drain. Come here. Oh, come here, you little curly top, aren't you? Hey. Oh, say hello to them in there. Say hello. <laughs> Good girl, aren't you? Hey. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that in there? <laughs> they really don't like looking at themselves. Yes, you're a good girl. I know, yes, but you're not licking me because you stink. You got a mouth smells like a fish's ass, basically. You're the next one in for some teeth work, I think. Yeah, it gets expensive dental work on dogs. And uh, apparently I was um I was always uh you know, when you take your dogs in and you think, oh, you know, you, you finally have a look in their mouth and you see some bad teeth and you, you take them and you always think, oh God, you know, they're going to look at me and think, what a bad person sort of thing, you know, been feeding them rotten everything, which I don't, you know, they, they, they eat, you know, pretty decent food, you know, they get dog food, uh, biscuits, and all they ever get off our plates is meat scrapings and trimmings, you know, things like that. Uh, they get bits of raw carrot whenever I'm cutting them because they do like that and that is pretty good for the teeth anyway but um, yes yeah, so you know you take them in you you think you're gonna be looked at badly but uh, I sort of put he's the last time I went in with one and uh, the vet said uh, he said uh, what are you in for I said uh, I want her uh, teeth seen to uh, scale and polish and remove any bad ones and uh, he said, oh, well, he says, uh, show me show me a Yorkie that uh, hasn't got bad teeth and it's not had out to eat. <laughs> uh, so apparently it goes with the breed, does bad teeth in them, which uh, I didn't really know. So I've only got three now, so I guess a little bit cheaper, although the other one, he was, he was too old for that anymore anyway. So he'd had them done once or twice before. But uh, yeah, so... I've already got the rest of the vlog edited, guys, and I'm going to go and edit the rest of this when I've finished. Um, I've got uh, still got some videos to do, reviews. Uh, I had a little phone case sent in, and I've still got some other emails sort of on the go with people contacting me about reviews and stuff like that. Um, and I've emailed a few bigger companies and what have you, but. You know, it's obviously they're, they're going to go on the size of your YouTube channel and what have you like, which mine's not that big, so I don't really expect much of the, the sort of bigger stuff, you know. Uh, so it's just a matter of wait and see, see what happens with the emails and what have you. But, uh, you know, I will always make time to fit it in. It's uh, just getting that time. But... Uh, it is coming, trust me. So, um, anyway guys, I'm going to call it a day here. And uh, hopefully you've all had a great weekend. And I hope you have a good week ahead. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Take care guys, see you.